for our next time takes as its starting point an archival image titled Brixton Riots, London, April 1981, credited to the Manchester Daily Express. The image is transferred onto a nickel-plated steel ball chain curtain. The image is then interrupted by yellow brass beads that float across the scene like golden embers. This, uh, this curtain, which I'm also thinking of as a painting, had its first debut at the Museum of Contemporary Art, Georgia, for a solo show I had there. So the curtain was placed at the entrance to the gallery. And in order to access the rest of the exhibition, viewers had to literally penetrate the archive. The curtain implicates a viewer in the work and encourages a particular relationship to the image. So it's not just about viewing it, but you're being in it. You're walking through it. You're passing through it. The act of breaching the curtain, feeling the weight of the material against you, against your body, forces you, the viewer, to exert yourself, to have a tactile experience with the work. <laughs>